hands of the chopper! Hello everyone, now many of you will know this man beside me. If you don't, you'll certainly recognise his voice. Phil McNamara, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Thanks Nathan, it's, it's a pleasure to be here and thanks, thanks for the invite. Well, are you hearing those sounds? Are you hearing those tones? Is it sounding familiar? Of course, Phil is our man on the mic at all our home games. He has a huge role to play. Now he shouts out the team list, the try scorers. But that's certainly not doing you justice, Phil. You do a lot more than that. But before I pump up his tyres too much, tell us how long you've been associated with the Mandy Blackhawks for Phil and how it all sort of came about. Well, I've been with the Blackhawks since day one and it's been a pleasure to be a part of the original season and ever since. I started doing the timekeeping and scoring with brothers about 15 years ago. And when the Blackhawks kicked off, Happy said, would I be happy to uh, continue doing that with, with the Blackhawks? So that's how it all started. Well, he's an absolute natural at it, I'll say that. I gave it a crack uh, a year away, I had to fill in for you, and I'm telling you, it's one of the hardest things to do now. I said before, you shout out the team list, you shout out the try scores, you shout out the sponsors during the game as well, we've got to promote them. But then there's also the timekeeping, as you said, when the ref stops the clock, you've got to stop the clock, you've got to do the scoring as well. I remember when we did it, there was about three of us doing the one job you do, so it's a fantastic job you do. No, well, thank you. Um, I think you undersell yourself a little bit <laughs> in that respect. It's, it's just a matter of getting a bit of a routine and I'm lucky to have Rachel as an offsider as well. I think we work pretty well as a team and she looks after the music and if I'm tied up doing something, then she jumps in and helps out as well. So it's still a team effort, I think. You know. Do you get any say in some of those tunes that we hear after a try or anything like that? Or is that not your sort of flavor? Um, unless, unless Rachel's not there, she looks after the music. <laughs> uh, now, mate, because you do so well, you got a, a pretty special award last year, the Club's Community Award. What was it like receiving that? Oh, award? that was very humbling. And, um, you know, you, you don't know what to say when you get recognised like that by the community. You know, um, the Russ Cook Community Award was quite an honour. And uh, I don't know what more to say, you know. Did you have <laughs> any idea? It had was no idea whatsoever as that it was even on the cards you know um, just out of the blue on presentation night with the Blackhawks it was yeah, a real surprise. Well the Blackhawks, the many Blackhawks and the under 21s both kept you busy on the weekend posting big wins over Mackay. Of course Paddy Kafusi ran the Mandy Blackhawks out for his 100th host plus cup match and the boys did him proud producing a 46-6 derby demolition at home. And you just know that many points won't have been scored without Jodice Baker getting in on the action. The winger crossed for his second hat-trick this year, taking his tally to 15 tries from 13 appearances. And his first for the afternoon, Phil, we really got to see just how fleet-footed he is. Yeah, he is a speedster of, of high calibre, I think. You see those legs move, and he's not a big person, but, boy, he moves across the ground. Um, yeah, and to score three tries, and then Zach Laybutt backed that up with another two. And I'd just like to say as well, uh, congratulations to Paddy Kafusi for his 100th game. You know, it's an unbelievable achievement. And Jeremiah Matadia, congratulations to Jeremiah for his debut. What a size he is for such a young bloke. You know, he's only a young fella coming through the grades, but boy, doesn't he show some talent. And he became Mendy Blackhawks player 145. So great achievement. Yeah, congrats, Jerry. And Phil, what was really impressive about that win was we didn't blow the cutters away. They actually scored first. We didn't score our first try till the half now mark and really went on with the job from then. A win which puts us up to ninth on the ladder. We'll face the Capras next. They're sitting sixth, but aren't guaranteed finals footy just yet. We really do need the victory at Brown Park on Saturday to continue our own finals charge and it would be nice to get one back on Central Queensland, Phil, because obviously they got the better of us a lot earlier this year. Yeah, that's right. In round two this year, um, we were leading 16-6 at half time in the Host Plus Cup match and they come home and run us down in the second half. So to get a win over top of them at Brown Park this weekend would be sensational for our top eight aspirations. Absolutely. Now, this is usually the point in the show where we get Payne's preview. Obviously, Aaron Payne's left the club. Just on a personal note, I want to thank Aaron for always making himself available to me for doing interviews or whether I'm stitching him up. So thanks, mate, and all the best with your next endeavours. 
We are going to hear from our interim coach, Christian Quabba, and we're also going to hear from the man in charge of the host. Some individuals are really starting to, to come together in the way that they understand each other's game and you know they're doing all those small things right. And if you get your performance right and little things within games, then the table and ladders, that takes care of itself. And um, it was good to get the result against Mackay and we're looking forward to another really big challenge this weekend. You know, there's still a lot of uh, teams that can make the eight. We've only got three games remaining now, um, so it's all up to us still where we finish. Who knows, we've just got to keep, you know, training well, preparing well, you know, get ready for the Black Hawks this weekend. They're a very gritty football side. They never go away and they play for 80 minutes. That's one thing I'll certainly say about them. And Phil, we alluded to it earlier, the 21s also impressed in round 13 of the Hastings Deering Colts competition, keeping the Cutters scoreless while posting 48 points themselves. And they'll be after another dominant display in the Beef Capital on Saturday, and we can hear from their coach now, Roy Byra. Yeah, a couple of changes. Oh, my boy there, Ty. You know, Ty's injured, he hurt his knee, and you know, he's gone for the rest of the season. Darnell also, you know, we've lost him through suspension for a week. Ah, uh, Capra's down there. Yeah, they're always really tough at home. It's going to be you know, hit and run sort of thing. We're going to head down you know, with the cup boys on the flight and um, yeah, head back that night. Thanks, Roy and brothers capped off a huge day of action at Jack Mansky Oval on Saturday. The local league ladder leaders ran out convincing winners over Norths, 56 points to 10. Souths all but secured their final spot with a 48-32 win over the Lions in a tri-fest at Weston's home ground. And that was an important win by the Bulls because Herbert River edged past Charters Towers 26-22. The Crushers are mathematically a chance of scraping into fourth, but their Premiership defence does appear over with only a couple of rounds remaining. They take on Centrals next, the Miners face Souths, Burdekin host Norths, and the Brethren can claim the Minor Premiership with a win over the Lions on Friday night. Phil, that's the show. Thanks very much for stopping by. We'll see you, probably more here, at our final home game of the season later this month. Thanks, Nathan. It was a pleasure. Um, new experience for me. And hopefully the Blackhawks will advance into the, the top eight and you never know, we might even get a home final at some stage. So I look forward to that. Yeah, well, we look forward to having you back anytime. You're welcome back anytime. Now, guys, you can stay up to date with all your latest Many Blackhawks news, updates, and information by jumping on our social media pages and, of course, our club website. We'll see you next time.